All right, so being the software enthusiast I am, where this is totally a uh, software review channel, and we, we, we talk about a lot of esoteric software like most Linux channels, right, you know? So uh, this, is, this is called Halloy, and uh, I'm going to call it the most unbased IRC client known to man. So after Hexchat died, and honestly, Hexchat's not been in development for a while, so there's been like some things that really should have been merged that were not merged. Uh, but anyways, Hexchat's dead. So, and that's like ancient software. But now we got new software. We got new, new IRC client. So we got to install a new thing, right? So Halloy, it's available as a flat pack, so you don't have to compile it. That's great. And it's on every distro instead of having to get a package for your, for your specific distro. Uh, it is a GUI IRC client written in Rust. And it's got like tiling. Which is pretty cool. So like if I like put this thing over here, look at that. Or I can like put it back up here. Yeah, cool. And if I open like another window or something, right? Uh I don't know how to do that. Anyways, uh I've only got two windows open right now. But basically, uh it's a uh, I call it unbased, right? Because Usually you would think like Rust, unbased language, GUI, unbased for IRC, you should be using terminal, right? But if you're lazy like me and you like this thing where you can just like do this instead of uh, manu manually configuring all your buffers and shit, this is really cool. So, uh, and what's even less based is they have a bouncer, but only for Liberia.chat. So for those of you that hate Liberia.chat, this is also not a good solution. But I pretty much exclusively use Liberia Chat now, so it all works out great for me. The lazy man, you know. But that's kind of my kind of my joke is like, oh yeah, it's not a SIC written entirely in C and it has like twenty five lines of code and doesn't respond to version requests or something. That's a that would be the most based client, right? So instead, I am going the lazy man's way. The only thing that could be lazier is if I was using like element to manage all my IRC stuff. <laughs> that would be really funny. But here it is. This is actually a pretty cool client. I like it. So if you're ever if you're wondering, well shit, what do I do now? I wanna I don't want a terminal IRC client, I want a GUI one and I want something that's up to date instead of fucking hex chat that is now dead. Well, what do I download? This is this is probably the coolest one for you. I like it. And I haven't really explored too much of it yet. I have the first thing you have to do, obviously, is create your configuration file. And I don't know anything about YAML or TOML. So what happened was I downloaded a theme, right? I went to the Catpuchin Halloway theme, and it was right there. You know, I was able to download it. But since I downloaded a YAML, I was like, oh, shit, did I even apply that? And it turns out there's a little section that says migrating from YAML. And I'm like, oh shit, this is a YAML and the other theme is a TOML. So luckily they have a converter. You just throw the file in there and there you go. And actually I uh, I did fork their repository for my GitHub, but it links to the parent repository. So I will link that in the description or whatever if you want to try... Uh, if you want to try... Try that theme out in case you use Capuchin for whatever reason. I'll have a Tomal theme you can download. For some reason, they abandoned it. Capuchin did so. There, somebody like already requested a merge, but I decided to just fork the repository. It was easier that way, and I'm pretty sure everything works. I haven't actually tried it, except the one for Frappe, obviously. So, anyways, cool IRC client. Uh, however, if you're, if you're very IRC elitist, this is probably not the one for you because you have to, you have to get rid of that mindset first before you use it. You have to accept that you'll be using a Rust GUI IRC client with, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks.